Hi right, Kevin, I'm recording this so you can see how easy it is to use Photoshop CS4 to make a panoramic picture. The pictures we took tonight at the car show, I've got uh, CS4 open, I've got a file, select Automate, Photo Merge, it'll open up a daughter window. You browse. Marks Cruises, uh, tonight's date. At the very bottom of the list of them, Canon puts them uh, with the prefix STA versus IMG. So let's take the one with all the show cars. We'll select the four images that make up that panoramic. Just hit Control and you click on each of them. Hit OK and it'll open just those four images. I let it automatically choose which type of landscape picture it's going to make. Hit OK. And the rest is waiting and watching the magic happen. It opens the four images. You can see that in the bottom left. It aligns each of them. Essentially what that's doing is eliminating any of the sections that were just overlapped. It's taking the clearest section of each of the four. It's now blending for color and for edges, so there'll be no seam that you can see. the image. I use the cropping tool. Select as much or as little as I want. I'll draw it down so I get as much of the show area as possible. A little sky in there as well. Hit enter. That's the only thing remaining. Now I want to save this as a JPEG. So I use the buttons Alt, Control, Shift, and S. It tells me that it's larger than my regular size that it normally wants to save. I say yes because I want to allow that. You can see here that the image size is 2029 pixels high, 6336 pixels wide. It's about to put up a preview for me. Total image size is 6.82 meg. I save it. Go to the same file that I want to keep it in. And I give it a, an image title that puts it in line with the first image number. That way it's still going to be in the same sequence when I took it. So the lowest number of the uh, four images. Save it. Done. I'll close this one out. Let me go to that file. I will open it. So you can see the result. And that's it. I'm going to move the camera a little bit closer here so you can see that there's no seam. Notice as we go across this picture. There is absolutely no seam anywhere in the sky, every part of it perfect.